Hello guys, it's me Pyro, and we are back for some more Minecraft learning Ender I.O. I have done a lot more things off screen. Screen, not screen. Um, I have made a list of things to do this time. And I put them all over here in the items that I got. And I, or the items in the chest are basically things that will lead up to getting the objective finished. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, basically 20 hearts now because I took 10 of those, 10 of those, 10 of those, and um, I have more health now, so that's awesome. I also made a jetpack, which is almost empty so <clears throat> let me go up here or not up here down here or no this is what I did last time uh, that farm is empty over there which had um uh, what potatoes yeah this farm had potatoes but it doesn't anymore I made a little way down here where I can set up uh, Ender IO farms which is another one another objective of mine if we go over here I think it's the second one mm, no second one is better energy uh, third one is upgrade the farms to Ender IO the um, Fourth one is activated division sigil, which we'll get for killing the wither. Uh, make semi-stable semi nuggets so we can uh, combine them and make an angel ring. Because this, uh, this death pack is nice and all, but uh, it does require power. Angel ring does not require power. So once we can get an angel ring, that'll be awesome. So let's go over here and charge the jetpack. <clears throat> and I will show you what I've done. Going up. There we go. Uh, I have a giant tank. Uh, a king slime. What the hell? Probably over there. Um, filled with, or this is filling with, let's go up two more levels. This is collecting the experience from the uh, Wither Skeleton Farm and putting it in here. Also have a grate to get rid of my experience. I built a little um, with this. It's pretty awesome. I like this thing. This thing is pretty cool and makes building things like this really easily. So I have a giant sphere up here this is where I'm going to move everything and I have different levels going all the way down there we go I built one of these chests also a um, draconic evolution chest which is pretty awesome it has a built-in furnace and a crafting table it's pretty friggin sweet uh, Hmm, what else do this um is connected to my ender quarry or not my ender quarry my uh nether quarry which apparently is done so I need to change it or wait yeah of course it's done because I didn't because I have it with me yeah right here so I need to set that up again um I have some all my tools and basically useful things in here some uh, dollies to carry chest around basically the fifth and final thing I have for now is start moving up into the sky 
we're going to start moving everything up into that little uh, spe sphere. And as you see, I just have a crap ton of dollies just to move everything. Because I need to move all this and all, just everything. I plan to recreate the, um, like all the, uh, the spawners and everything. I, re I need to recreate them, uh, up there. Because I don't want to be in this cave anymore. Or underground. I want to be above the ground in the sky. Because I just like building up in the sky. I have, uh, <laughs> I also have deleted uh, both of my other worlds just because, I don't know, when I get tired of worlds, I just delete them and start over. So I'll show you what I've done in those worlds, or the new worlds that I created, after this session, like I normally do. Because it's pretty cool, and it's kind of what I want to um, work toward. Um, yeah. So right now, I'm just planning the rest of these. There we go. And just put the rest in there. Need to replant the pumpkins, but I can do the, or not pumpkins, potatoes. But I can do that really easily when I, uh, when I redo the farms within the rail. It'll be much easier. Hopefully. Um, so, the first thing we need to do is make reinforced obsidian. Make a diff uh, draconic evolution mob grinder. And uh, kill the wither. Which should be easy enough. Um, let's see. I made a lot of dark steel. As you can see, a Rapton. So this should be easy. Uh, let's see. Just get all the ingots we can. Holy shit, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we need uh, these. Let's get some of these. Let's Let's get a stack. See him once that makes. Uh, shit. Okay, actually, let's get a few stacks. I might need to make some more uh, of this, which will be crappy, but whatever. That'll do for now. Um, let's see. How do I make it again? Uh, reinforced obsidian. Okay. So these go on the sides to select, so. And. Put that like so. And now we have a full stack for reinforced obsidian. Very cool. Mm, how much more can I make though? Let's take half of this and make some more of these. There we go, one, two, three. I can make six more. Is that going to be enough? I have no idea. Although the, um, the mop grinder will kill them in like one freaking shot, which is pretty awesome. So I don't really need all that much. But we'll see once we get to the nether. Uh, mob grinder right here. So, let's see. Oh yeah, that's in there. Ba -da -ba -da. 
Ba -da -da -ba -da. Uh, mop grinder, here we go. Need to make one of these, which is gold and draconian ingots and a diamond. Easy. I have everything I need. Uh, go. There we go. Ha ha, perfect. Now we need diamond swords, furnace. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. This right here, this right here, the diamond swords on the sides. Furnace down here. And just like that, mob grinder, nice. The reason I have the heart containers right here is because I need them the wither drops uh, yellow hearts, which can give you even more hearts down here. But I need uh, red heart canisters to actually make the yellow heart canisters. And the green hearts are basically creative mode only, so I can't really do green hearts. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, I think I have everything I need. Let's put the obsidian back in here for now. If I need more, I can always make more. But we are going to go make the mob grinder right now. I might need a little bit blocks. Uh, two blocks will do for now. And I need a... Let's see. Oh, I can power up the mob spawner with my, um... With my reactor that's there. So that that should be fine. I already have a mob... Or a, div, a draconic evolution mob grinder. I already have one. It's, uh, killing all the wither skeletons. So let's grab those two. Break that, and that went through the portal. Oh well. Get the sword just in case there's any baddies on the other side. It doesn't look like it. Uh, if I had the jetpack, I could go all the way up here. But oh well. I'm not gonna go all the way back just to get the jetpack. I'm fine. I'm gonna be really happy once I get the uh, the angel ring, though. It's gonna be really awesome. Probably also should have brought with the skeleton skulls and uh, uh, what the hell? Soul sand? There, yeah, soul sand. So this is my wither skeleton spawner that I made. And you can see the draconic evolution mop grinder right there. This is basically the um this big area is the area uh that the mop grinder can take care of. And it's a pretty big area actually. <laughs> I have the wither skeleton spawner right there, I have some fans right there thing about the wither skeleton spawner is it does not just or not unlike the um the mine factory reloaded spawner it does not pick up items so when it kills something it'll drop whatever it drops and it will drop the experience and if it's uh kills a lot of stuff um it can lag a lot because there'll be a lot of stuff on the ground like a lot of entities like swords and experience orbs and all that stuff so what i have is a vacuum hopper sucking up the um all the drops putting them in this chest which is sending them i think to my other my with or my blaze spawner and putting them all in barrels and i have um it also collects the experience puts it in here and this collects the experience and puts it in that huge tank 
and I tried uh, powering powering the mob grinder up there with uh, just the Ender IO uh, power supply thing generator whatever. Um, and once it ran out of coal, I came back here, and this whole freaking thing was full of wither skeletons and just regular skeletons, just all of them. So, holy shit, I just decided to hook it up to my, uh, reactor. So, that's probably what I'm gonna do with the, uh, the wither skeleton spawner. And you can see up there, that powers the uh, spawner itself. Um, the only thing is, uh, the spawner obviously being from my factory reloaded, it needs mob essence, which the only supply of mob essence I have right now is from my blaze rod, or my blaze spawner. And those are just regular Minecraft spawners, so I have to be like right next to them to start spawning. So that's why at the beginning of the video, I was just, I was standing there in that room, letting the blazes spawn, so in turn the wither skeletons could spawn. So without further ado, let's um, where do I want this wither skeleton spawner or wither spawner to be? Literally, I could build it anywhere but let's build it I want to